Hi everyone, let's talk about Cassini's identity for Fibonacci numbers. Recall that the Fibonacci numbers are defined recursively as follows. F0 is equal to 0, F1 is equal to 1, and Fn is equal to Fn minus 1 plus Fn minus 2 for n greater than or equal to 2 integers. So we define the first couple of them concretely and the rest we can define recursively. So it looks like this, the sequence, fn equals to 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21, and so on. What I claim right now is that if we take the matrix 1, 1, 1, 0 and we take it to the exponent n, so you need to know what matrix multiplication is over here, this is equal to f of n plus 1, f of n, f of n, f of n minus 1. So let's start off by proving that claim and we're going to do it by induction. In the base case, we have that 1, 1, 1, 0 to the 1, that's just the matrix itself, is equal to F2, F1, F1, and F0. So the base case holds. For the inductive hypothesis, we will assume that there exists an integer n where n is greater than or, or equal to 0, sorry 1, such that 1, 1, 1, 0 to the power of n, so multiplied by itself n times, is equal to fn plus 1, fn, fn, and fn minus 1. Now we're going to go to the inductive step where we look at 1, 1, 1, 0 to the n plus 1 and that's just 1, 1, 1, 0 times 1, 1, 1, 0 to the n and that is equal to by the induction hypothesis 1, 1, 1, 0 times f of n plus 1 f of n, f of n, f of n minus 1. And now we're going to use the definition of matrix multiplication to get that this is equal to f of n plus 1 plus f of n, f of n plus f of n minus 1, f of n plus 1, and f of n. Now, notice that we had the sum of consecutive Fibonacci numbers here and here. So we can use the Fibonacci recurrence to find that this is equal to f of n plus 2, f of n plus 1, f of n plus 1, and f of n. So that completes the induction. because this proves the assertion for n plus 1, assuming that it holds for n. Okay, so now we know that for all n greater than or equal to 1 integers, 1, 1, 1, 0 to the n, power of n, is equal to f of n plus 1, f of n, f of n, f of n minus 1. So an interesting idea that we can pursue is taking the determinant of both sides. So we get that the determinant of 1, 1, 1, 0 to the n is equal to the determinant of this, and we'll just compute it out already, like just from the get-go it's f of n plus 1, f of n minus 1, minus f of n squared. And this over here, by the multiplicativity 
of the determinant. We find that this is equal to the determinant of 1, 1, 1, 0 to the power of n. And that's equal to just 1 times 0 minus 1 times 1, so negative 1 to the power of n. And that allows us to conclude that negative 1 to the power of n is equal to f of n plus 1, f of n minus 1, minus f of n squared. And that is Cassini's identity. There are lots of identities like this. For example, Cassini is generalized by something called Catalan's identity. And Catalan is generalized by something called Vadia's uh, um, identity. So there are lots of identities like this and I just wanted to show you one of them here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.